This is a hammer of uh, Herberger Brooks Action that I'm doing some repairs to at the moment. Um, this is going back next week, this job, um, and it's having some work done on it. It's right now, I'm going to glue what we call a return tape to this hammer. That's all we need to do to that one. Got one here that I did earlier. This um, hammer assembly screws to the action rail via that little hole there with the screw. Fits in snugly and this is all working really well. You see those dents on that hammer head, they need to go. I'll show you how we do that. It's not perfect. Okay. So see that's much better. Almost perfect. This little section here, I, uh, these haven't been replaced, so I like to um, use a little soft bristle brush just to get rid of any dents or any muck that might be in that piece of leather and just add a little bit of microfine Teflon to that piece of leather and what that does is it um, reduces any friction that might be caused as the hammer moves up and there's a little stick called the jack that moves this hammer up it's attached to another part of the piano action called the whippin moves this hammer up to the string and that just gets rid of um, any friction that we might have on that particular in that particular area also another interesting fact is that the piano you would think would be known as a stringed instrument but it's not it's known as a percussion instrument because these hammers hit the strings thus Interesting, so this one's pretty much almost all the way through this action doing what needs to be done. And uh, this one's going to go back shortly into a little Bentley upright piano and um, should be good.